Taurus Divine Fams, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, so Spirit told me to do something, so I did it. <laughs> So Spirit told me to do a series for you all on finance, career slash mission, and divine life advice. So starting from today until December 20th, when you book an in-depth personal reading with me, you'll get the Kabbalah program, money program, and universal laws program for absolutely free. Did you hear that, ladies? That is three programs channeled from 5D by Sophia Charles for your learning pleasure, for your life-changing, transformational pleasure. <laughs> so these are just, um, you know, with the things that are going on in the world and the times we live in right now, it is of the utmost importance that you learn how to create your own systems of economy so that you are not stuck in this rat race or this... Um, this way of being and doing that is just being on a treadmill and not getting anywhere. This so you're not worrying about finances. You know, you always know how to create and bring in abundance for yourself. So learn how to make money, attract abundance, and live abundantly during and after the pandemic. The link is in my description box. Divine Femmes, you are responsible for your own stability and security. You are being given access to the tools to do that. Take advantage. Bet on yourself. You will always be your biggest and most important investment. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to jump right in. So my Taurus Divine Femmes, to my left is, what does Divine Feminine need to know right now in regards to security, stability, finance, career, slash mission? In the center is, what can Divine Feminine do right now to increase abundance in her life? And to my right is, what life advice do you have for Divine Feminine right now? Okay, so Divine Femmes, this is supposed to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. But what I'm reading right here is, it seems like it's a very specific reading for somebody who needs to hear this. You know, um, my heart goes out to you. Uh, and I know that you can do this and you'll make it through with flying colors. So what we have here is, Hostilities in reverse, five of swords, 12 of air in reverse, wheel of fortune in reverse, and maiden in reverse. Divine fans, this, this, this energy of this, some of you are dealing with a masculine energy or one of you is dealing with a masculine energy that is, they are top tier piece of shit material. I don't know how else to say it. Top shelf piece of shit. And spirit wants you to stop engaging with them. Spirit wants you to actually drop your hostilities. Like don't go back and forth with them. Don't do the tit for tat. Oh, you pissed me off. So I'm going to piss you off. You hurt me. So I'm going to hurt you. Spirit said, no, just done with them. Just be done. Mm -hmm. Because this person is taking a toll on you mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. This person is delaying you from walking in your path. You have big things to do on this planet, Divine Feminine, and you're allowing this person to waste your fucking time. Mm-hmm. Because that's all they're doing. They are keeping you in an old karmic cycle that needs, needs to be closed out now. Because it's doing absolutely nothing for you. It's doing you no favors. It's actually leaving you feeling defeated. It's leaving you with low self-esteem, low confidence, lack of love for yourself. Like I said, it's preventing you from moving forward. You're actually, you're in your head about just making any moves for yourself. Like you feel like you can't do anything for yourself with this person around. And this person created this dynamic with you on pers uh, purpose. Why? Because they're just not right. They're not right. 
this person, their energy shows up as their five of swords. This person could be a bully. They use intimidation tactics. This person goes and tells your business to everybody. They have no respect for you. And I'm just feeling the energy of a, fem of a masculine that does not care about you. Nope. They really only care about what you can do for them. Like really real deal about what you can do. And this person, they have um, they have some kind of hold over you though, uh, divine feminine. I don't know if it's sex or if it's, it feels sexual. It feels, it feels like some very, very strong manipulation. Like someone who has you in this, um, like brainwashing you. Like they have you brainwashed. Because this person does, like, even my throat, like, my throat feels like, and my heart, like, I just, I just don't feel right. I don't feel right. This person's energy just does not feel right. This person, too, they have a lot of, they've been through some things in their life that made them like this. Mm-hmm just made them top shelf piece of shit material. Mm -hmm. This person hasn't healed from some really horrible things that happened to them in the past, right? But that's not your fault, nor is it your problem. That does not excuse and that does not make it okay. Their behavior towards you, that does not excuse it. That does not justify the things that this person does and has done to you. This person has done some real horrible things. <sighs> I feel so sad for you. So sad for you. This person, they try to bully you. There's, there's physical violence in this. This relationship dynamic where you have with this person, Divine Feminine, I don't give a fuck who they are. You don't let anybody slap you around or choke you out or no. You're not, you're not on this planet to be anybody's punching bag or emotional dumpster. This person talks to you like you're a piece of shit. They have no respect for you. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a feminine, um, a masculine energy talking to a divine feminine like in the most degrading ways mm -hmm. and they do it on purpose because they don't want you to feel empowered they don't want you to feel like you have any say in anything or that you are capable of anything they do it on purpose to keep you down mm -hmm. mentally emotionally physically this person they want to keep you in this karmic cycle mm-hmm of hurt and pain. My head hurts. You're in your head a lot, Divine Feminine. You cry a lot too, yeah? You're in a lot of pain with this person or you were in a lot of pain with this person, yeah? Spirit said this needs to be over now. Like to the point where you're not even arguing back or saying anything. I'm seeing a Divine Feminine, you're just like, you just packed your bags and you just left. Some of you, this fem this masculine energy came home and everything was gone. Good for you. Good for you, Divine Feminine. Like you just moved. You didn't say nothing. You just moved. They came home. The door was slightly ajar and the place was empty. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing like a loaf of bread in the fridge. Like you left them a loaf of bread and it's molding. Like you left. You packed up your kids. For those of you that have children, you left like the place was bare. Mm -hmm. And this person though, they weren't sad. They were infuriated. Mm -hmm. Like this person's energy is, it's like they wanted to kill you. Like if you were in front of them, they would have killed you. Jeez. So, 
What can you do right now to create abundance for yourself? My Taurus Divine Feminines. We have the sun. That's good. Seven of coins in reverse. Abundance. King of cups in reverse. And youth. Spirit wants you to reclaim your youth, divine feminine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Spirit wants you to leave this rusty, dusty person in the past where they very well belong. Yeah. I'm hearing leave them in their karmic cycle, but you, it's time for you to step out of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a divine feminine that's been running on a hamster wheel and you're not going anywhere. And then one day it's like, you're just like, what the fuck am I doing? And you just step off. Mm -hmm. You step off. It's like you realize like you were, you were chained to something, but you always had the key. And you just realized one day that, you know what? I'm hungry. I need to use the bathroom. I need to take a shower. <laughs> I need to do some stuff for myself here. So I'm going to just unchain myself from this now. Mm hmm Hmm. And that's what I'm hearing. Unchain yourself. Right? And I'm seeing a divine feminine with a key, a big gold key. Mm -hmm. You can do this, divine fam. Absolutely. Spirit wants you to focus on your abundance. Focus on your happiness, actually. Focus on fulfillment, healing, being creative. Mm -hmm. Focus on filling your own cup. You definitely need to do that now. Mm -hmm. because you have abundance coming in for you and you it's so deserved so deserved spirit wants you to walk away from people people that are tricksters people that are frauds they're fake people that deceive you i'm hearing um uh, what is it? Beautiful liar or beautiful con artist? Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to walk away from con men. Con men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just people who have that low vibrational energy of um, they want what they want I, by any means necessary. They don't care who they hurt. They don't care who they have to pull down and hold down. They don't care. Spirit wants you to walk away from, leave them in the past, leave them in the dust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spirit also wants you to know that you are protected. Mm -hmm. And guided, you're being guided. Yeah. And you have, you have guides, guardians. Divine Feminine, Guardians. Some of you, I'm seeing, it's like ancestors. Some of you had ancestors that were watching over you because sometime, something in the past happened that you could have died from. And if it wasn't for the interference of your ancestors, your guides upstairs, if it wasn't for divine intervention, you probably you wouldn't even be here right now. Mm -hmm. You were being protected, mm -hmm. but you had to learn a lesson. I am seeing, I'm seeing some, um, it's like higher vibrational beings upstairs and they're like looking at you. They're watching the things that you're going through and they're like shaking their head. Like, when are you going to get this? Mm -hmm. Like you've been doing this one for so long. When are you going to get this lesson? It's time to move on. Mm hmm. Yeah. Spirit wants you to walk away from and stay away from people that 
that are users. Mm -hmm. That encourage you to, to make unwise uh, choices and decisions with your money. The con man, right? Oh, just invest in some Bitcoin with me. Uh, but you're going to pay your share first. And if we make anything, then I'll put my, my hand in. No. <laughs> right? You don't know shit about shit about Bitcoin. So why are you telling me to come help you invest in Bitcoin? Go handle your shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to buy this property, but I need your, you to co-sign. Co-sign on a mortgage. But you don't work. So how are you going to pay mortgage? So you mean I'm buying a house for myself and paying all the bills and you're just going to live there doing fuck all? No. Spirit wants you to stay away. Walk away and stay away from these types of people now because they drain your finances. Mm -hmm. They drain your abundance spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally. Mm -hmm. And that's what spirit wants you to do right now. Focus on your own inner and outer fulfillment, right? Because this, let me show you something, divine fans. This creates this. This creates this. As within, so without. As above, so below. So when you start healing, and you start feeling abundant on the inside and feeling fulfilled and creative and loving yourself from the inside, it shows up in your outer world. So what is your advice from spirit, divine fam? We have women holding a heart in reverse. Mm -hmm. We have the devil. Mm-hmm. That's what that, that was that pull that I felt. Uh, we have three of air in reverse. Yeah. King of wands in reverse. And king of fire. Divine feminine. Divine feminine. Spirit wants you to learn these lessons. It's time for you to learn these karmic lessons now so you can move forward, so you can graduate this level now. Yeah. It's time to close this out. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to look at the things that you've been through in the past with this person, with this masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Spirit said to clarify with you, this is not your divine masculine Absolutely not. Mm -mm. This is a karmic who was supposed to teach you some lessons. And Spirit said it's time to get these lessons now because you have things to do. Mm -hmm. It's time. Spirit said you're not going to have any success with this person. You're not going to move forward with this person. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of problems as usual surrounding this person. For some of you, for a small number of you, this is somebody at work. Are some of you sleeping with somebody at work? And this person is just spreading your business. Mm -hmm. This person is problems. Mm -hmm. They're talking about you. They're talking about how you are in bed to other people. Divine feminine, I'm seeing some of you going by like you're maybe in a lunchroom or something. And as soon as you walk by, people get quiet. Mm -hmm. Some people are like snickering, you know. This person is like they have no respect for you. Mm -hmm. And spirit wants you to leave that, that place of employment. It's not for you anyway. It's an old karmic cycle. That's not for you anyway. That's not who you really are. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. Spirit wants you to leave, right? And if you don't, it's going to get so bad in that environment that you have no choice but to leave. Mm -hmm. Because shit's going to hit the fan and it's going to spray all over everybody. Everybody's going to stink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. So this this was that um that pull. It, it was like a sickening pull, right? Where you felt like if you weren't with this person that you just it's like um I can't live with you and I can't live without you. Mm -hmm. That's what it felt like. This devil energy. Yeah. Spirit said this is not so. Mm -hmm. You are keeping yourself bound to this person. Mm -hmm. Now there is a there is a karmic soul tie. But Spirit said you can break that anytime you want. Mm -hmm. You just need to realize that. You need to, what is it? Be empowered. You need to feel empowered. You need to remember and recognize that you are powerful. Mm -hmm. And no one can keep you bound but you. Mm -hmm. That is why Spirit said to stop engaging. Drop the hostility with this person because that's keeping you bound. That's keeping you playing with them, right? You're feeding into their energy. You're adding more gasoline to the fire. That's why spirit was like, yo, dead this. Don't bother with them. They're, they can't force you to talk to them. They can't force you to be with them. If you're really, really done, there's nothing they can do about it. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to learn Learn this lesson so that you can move on to something else now. And you know what I'm feeling, Divine Fam? This is such an old cycle. Like, it's, it's, it's beyond over. Like, it should have been over so long ago. But you felt stuck. You felt trapped. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even though you knew you weren't having any success with this person. Yeah, even though you knew this person was problems and drama and chaos and conflict, you still felt stuck to them. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you may have felt like you wouldn't be able to survive like a few weeks without them. They were like a drug. Mm -hmm. Spirit said it's all in your mind. Mm -hmm. Your mind created this world of depravity. And this, this person was the catalyst for that because if you feel empowered, you're not going to be with them. You're going to tell them to kick rocks. But if you feel weak, low self-esteem, lack of self-love, no confidence in yourself, not sure of where you're going, not sure of what you're doing, you're going to stay right where you are. I'm hearing this person is a predator. Mm-hmm. And they prey on. Mm -hmm. This person preyed on you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. But you're not weak, Divine Feminine. You're a twin flame. You're Divine Feminine. You lead. You don't follow anybody. You're the leader. Spirit said this was also the lesson for you to realize that you lead. Mm -hmm. And no one can keep you bound but yourself. Mm -hmm. hmm. Because this person is not going to change. Nope. This person is going to still keep going on with their shit. Yeah. They're going to still keep cheating, lying, deceiving, trying to con you out of everything that you have, every cent that they can get their hands on. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. You know what I'm picking up? I'm picking up a narcissist. This person is a narcissist. Mm -hmm. They may have some really, really big, exaggerated view of themselves, but it's because they have their own inner, inner trauma and issue to deal with, issues to deal with. This person has a lot of inner issues, a lot of inner healing. I'm seeing a glass that's shattered. This person is broken. They're shattered inside. They need healing. Absolutely, they do. 
Spirit said it's time to walk away from these things now, man. Yeah. It's time to leave these things in the past. Mm -hmm. Because this cycle was supposed to be over from a long time. Yeah. And this person keeps, uh, what is it, conning you, brainwashing you into dragging it out. So it's like, are you learning? Have you learned yet? Spirit wants you to, know, to learn. Have you learned yet? How, much, how many more times do you need to go through this with this person before you actually finally get it? Mm -hmm. I'm hearing, don't miss your train. Divine Feminine, you have work to do around here. On this planet, you don't have time for any of this shit anymore. Nope. Spirit said, don't miss your train. Hmm. Okay, Divine Feminine, I'm being told to wrap this up. Now, this was for someone or for a few of you, but... If it resonates, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If it doesn't, that's okay too. I encourage you to book me for a personal reading. We can get that done. Also, I have the promotion. So you do get three programs for absolutely free. I'm still like in the energy of this reading. Like this person is fucked up. The, this energy is really, it, it needs a lot of healing. They need a lot of healing. Mm-hmm. If this, if this reading does not resonate with you, I encourage you to click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. Uh, it's all about divine timing, as you are divine feminine. <laughs> also, if you scroll down to the bottom of my description box, there is a link that takes you to my online store where you can browse around, look around. I offer some more transformational, life-changing products there as well. It is all about us helping each other and supporting each other. This, these programs, they've been channeled by um, 5D all the way up to 12D. They're created by Twin Flames for Twin Flames. Uh, Divine Feminine, I encourage you to go to my shop and look around at some of these programs. They have the Confidence and Anxiety program, I think would be really, really good for you. Um, some of you, if you want to message me, if this reading resonated with you, I encourage you to message me, you know, and uh, for a reading or just to figure out what, what program you need to take. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Divine Feminine, you can do this. You can close this cycle out. It has been over. you got big things to do now, honey. Okay? You take care of yourself. Bye.